All right, thanks, Dana. Well, now you're taking a live look at the Pascagoula River after Mississippi's governor issued a state of emergency as Marco and Lara make their way to the Gulf Coast. People spent the weekend getting ready for what may come when the storms make landfall. Colleen Peterson is live in Pascagoula with how things look right now. Colleen? Hi, Devin. Well, let me tell you, I haven't felt a drop of rain over the past few hours. In fact, there's blue skies behind me. This is a very disorganized system. People are wondering along the Pascagoula Beach, is there even a tropical storm out there? Because most of the rain bands almost appear as if they're detached from that centralized core of system. But we are under a tropical storm warning here in Jackson County, and the wind gusts are already starting to pick up. I have my wind gauge here, and we can clock in to see what we're seeing. Uh, wind gusts around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So I mentioned we're under that tropical storm warning because we're actually closer to Marco, that centralized core of circulation anticipated to make landfall on the southeast coast of Louisiana later this evening. So it's likely to see wind gusts above 39 miles per hour along the Mississippi Sound. But looking offshore right now, it doesn't look like that's the case. The water is becoming a little bit more choppy uh, under a, a coastal flood. Advisory could see it one to two feet of storm surge, minor coastal flooding. The main impacts could possibly be uh, minor coastal flooding as well as a brief spin up water spout because when we get sunshine in our atmosphere, that means we're destabilizing. So we could see a little bit of spin with that wind shear as we head towards the afternoon, but I'll be here monitoring the situation live on the Mississippi Sound. I'm meteorologist Colleen Peterson, WKRG News 5.